Hey folks, Dave here. I appreciate you stopping by and I hope everybody's well. So we are going to make this. It's a uh, notebook cover with what's typically referred to as a living hinge. And while these can get really complicated, we're not going to do complicated. We're not going to do any crazy math because I don't want a headache. And uh, we are going to start by grabbing a square. Just draw out a rectangle, let it go, and click your selector tool. Uh, the notebook is just under 8 inches by 12 inches, so we're going to make this a full 8 by 12 uh, to make sure we cover it up. So up top, make sure your lock is off and make your width 203 millimeters and your height 304. Remember, you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel. You can push down and move the entire canvas around. And we are going to go over with it selected to the Shape Properties tab and just radius off the corners to about four. Something to just keep them from being sharp. And if you don't have that tab somewhere on your page, go up to Window, down to Shape Properties, and make sure it's checked. Uh, the binding on the notebook is about 25 millimeters so to uh, make it wrap around the back and the front of the notebook uh, we're going to make that about 50 so grab another square start on the edge and just draw it all the way across let it go click your selector tool go down to the bottom and turn that into a tool and then go up to the height and make it 50 Select it, shift, select the remainder, and click bullseye. Uh, so, next we will draw a straight line. And uh, I've had some trouble drawing straight lines in some of my videos, and I had a viewer help me out. Uh, Four Wheel Cowboy told me how to draw the best straight line, and uh, I appreciate it. So, you want to grab your pencil tool, left click with your mouse. Push down the shift key, let go of the mouse, and then just pull it across and you'll get a straight line. When you get to the end, you need to left click, right click with the mouse, and then release shift. And uh, you'll, have a, you'll have a straight line. I was drawing lines all over the place. They look pretty bad. So uh, then click your selector tool, select it, and turn it into a cut. And then we want to go up top to the width and make that about 30 millimeters. And there's no science to that. Uh, we're just going to do a basic hinge. And depending on your project, uh, you'll have to do, uh, of course, different, uh, different sizes as you go. Okay, so you can just drop it anywhere. We're just going to make sure we fill up this area. Then we're going to get the tool out of the way and trim this off. So it really doesn't matter where you set it. Just put it somewhere, select it, go over to the array tool. And on the X column side, we want to make this spacing about three millimeters. And that will determine the space between these lines as we go across. Then on the Y columns, we're going to make the space 1.5 millimeters. And then we're going to go down and click shift by half. Uh, now this 1.5, the reason we're making them so close is I'm using a 5 millimeter Luon hardwood plywood. So the thicker the wood, the closer the lines. Uh, if you were using a 2 millimeter basswood plywood, you could probably get away with a 2, 2.5 inch uh, space. Um, but for this, we're going to try it at 1.5. So first, we're going to go up on the X column side and just bring those lines across. And that's fine. I'm just going to let it go past because, like I said, we're going to trim it. On the Y side, we're going to go up until we fill that space. And you can see those lines jump off by half with each click. And just click until you get as many as you want. 
and in this case it doesn't matter if we go a little past or a little under and then we're gonna click OK it's uh, once you finish that it'll be grouped together I'm just gonna move it out of the way a little bit I'm gonna select the tool and pull it up out of the way select the uh, hinge shift and select the remainder and click bullseye and I hope I didn't cover all that up with my face maybe not and as long as it's inside those lines we're good and we know it's centered so now we want to trim those edges but first we're gonna go back in and something else a viewer I always say that the comments from the viewers really help me out but they also help out other people and uh, viewer Susan uh, reminded me that when I want to get back to the center of my uh, project all I got to do is go up here between the uh, camera and the uh, zoom and I can click that and it'll take me back it'll recenter my project so thank you Susan for that I appreciate all the comments and the questions it it helps me to think and it helps me learn as a newbie and I really appreciate it okay so now we want the edge to be on the, the thicker part of the line and you can depending on the project you may get away with with having all of the little cuts on the edge but since these are so close I wanted to get it out to here so we're just going to select it and pull it out until we get to that area and that way that will give us the thickest portion we can get on the outer edge you'll have a few lines but it won't be all of them and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side so we will have some cuts on the edge straight out but it won't be all of them okay now to trim this uh, we're going to select it and then we're going to shift select our tool go up to tools down to cut shapes click and then you can see the portion we need trimmed has dancing lines then you can just click the uh, delete button and it trims off the excess as well as taking away the tool okay so now uh, hopefully this will turn out pretty good I might as well use it in the shop instead of wasting the wood so I will stick one of my logos on it I'm gonna go to my art library and if you don't have an art library I will drop a link in the description to a video to show you how to make one uh, they come in pretty handy I'm gonna grab my logo and just drag it up here I'm gonna push the uh, comma key to rotate clockwise actually when you first pull it out you got to click away then you can select it then you can work with it so the comma key will take it uh, counterclockwise the period to take it clockwise and uh, a viewer helped me out with that as well so I forget who right now so but uh, the comments really help now to center this uh, we've got the we've got our hinge down here in the way but we can just grab a square draw out another square and get it close you can make it a tool so makes it a little easier to see then you can select the logo shift select the tool then hit bullseye and there we go and I could leave the tool there uh, because the tool has no output and it wouldn't make any difference but I'll get rid of it uh, as for the uh, engraving always remember to move that up above your cut line and in the case of this one I'm gonna make it a speed of 60 millimeters per second 
and leave it at 20% power and that's on a 40 watt laser. So I believe we are ready to jump in the laser and cut this out. So um, I'll get set up and we'll do just that. I'll be right back folks. Okay, we are framed up and ready to go. We'll send the code over, cut this out, see what it looks like. Okay, folks, let me uh, clean this up a little bit and we will get a closer look at it. Be right back. Well, here's our finished notebook cover and our living hinge turned out really nice. Like I said, they can get complicated, uh, but this one not so much and hopefully it'll provide you a basic understanding of how to create one. And you can use your imagination and make some really nice projects. If you uh, give this a try, and you have questions, just drop them down in the comments and I'll get you an answer. Uh, if you have questions about anything I've got posted or any general laser or light burn questions, I'm glad to try to answer those. The questions and the comments uh, not only help me as a newbie, but they help all the viewers. And I really appreciate it. And uh, I thank you folks for taking time to watch. Uh, I know there's a lot of things out there to watch and uh, it does help the channel grow, so I appreciate it. Uh, just check back often for new videos. You folks take care, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.